Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWF Unforgiven. Tonight we have a stack card. Kane will finally be able to get his revenge on X Pac based on what happened at the last pay per view at SummerSlam. And Jason Jordan will also be defending his Intercontinental Championship against the Rabbit Wolverine, Chris Benoit. The Hardy Boys and Edge and Christian will finally settle their differences in a tag team elimination match. Tables match, ladies and gentlemen. And we're live. And tonight it's going to be a hell of a ride. A hell of a ride. And we're sold out tonight here in Massachusetts. And here comes the kid from Minneapolis, Minnesota, representing D Generation X, standing six foot one, 212 pounds, X Pac. And he's bringing his girlfriend, Tori, to the ring for moral support. And you never know, it could turn into physical support because you know DX loves to get involved in matches that have nothing to do with him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, X Pac. Tory by his side, the cocky, brash, arrogant X Pac. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 215 pounds, X Pac. And X Pac, and here comes the big red machine. My thing is, is X Pac truly ready to take on Kane through hell, fire, and brimstone with Paul Bearer at ringside? This is going to be a hell of a matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, X Pac smacking himself in the face, trying to get prepared because this is going to be his biggest challenge yet. And the big red machine looking strong as we've seen him in quite some time. He put X Pac out of action for about three weeks. Um, he, when he crushed his throat with a chair, he put his he basically put his, his head in the chair and um, jumped off the top ropes with an elbow and he crushed X Pac's esophagus. And X Pac, this is his first match back since then. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, an X Pac too quick for Kane. Oh, and the Kane reversing. Oh, and the kicks from X Pac. Oh, and the strength of Kane. A little overbearing for the young X Pac. Oh, and X Pac. Kane looking for redemption. Everything that DX has put him through. Oh, my God. And a shot to the back of the head by Kane, the big red machine. Oh, and X Pac with a knee to the guts. But it's not. The oh, my God. Not that effective on Kane, but he just took him down. And Kane said he's ready for war with X Pac, and this is going to settle everything that they've been going through for the last few months. Oh, and a shot. Oh, and that right hand. X Pac. Oh, my God. And the big knee of Kane holding X Pac in that corner. And the big red machine is truly looking for his revenge or redemption tonight. God, and he lifts X-Pac as if he's a child. Oh, and a power slam. 
by Kane, the big red machine. Xbox not in a good space right now. Oh, and a snap near by Kane. Oh, and Kane showing a little agility with a big boot to the face as Xbox sat there. Oh, and he gets him in the corner. Xbox is being abused as if he's a child right now. I mean, the strength and power of Kane. Oh, is dominating Xbox. Xbox is going to need to use some of that aerial, some of that speed. Just, just something to get him in this match. Oh, and he knocks the referee down. And Kane is just reversing. Oh, my God. Everything in the Xbox is coming with. And Tori throws a chair in the ring. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, and a neck breaker from Xbox. I mean, DX, they want to get involved. See, she, she threw that chair in the ring. And she doesn't have anything to do with this match. All she needs to do is manage Xbox. And I know some people look at managing as making sure you do whatever you do, have to do to make sure your client wins. Oh, and Xbox tries to go for a crossbody, but he doesn't get Oh, my God. And a strong slam from Kane. Oh, my God. And, and Kane is just dominating Xbox right now. Xbox is not in a good space. And Kane is in full control. And I think he might truly. Oh, and Xbox battling back. Oh. And Xbox. Oh, and what a kick. To the face by X-Pac. And there's Tori again. With the referee being distracted. Oh, he he can't get he can't get Kane down. Oh my god, and another boot to the face by the big red machine. He's truly dominating this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, off the chair and Kane's head bouncing off the back of that chair. And X Pac going up to the second rope. Oh, and a corkscrew, excuse me, corkscrew splash. Oh, and that's not going to be enough to keep Kane down. And referee finally getting rid of that chair that Tory put in this matchup earlier. Oh my God, and what a shot! And the power of Kane just, I mean, x Pac isn't able to do anything. He doesn't have his DX buddies at ringside. All he has is his girlfriend. That's all he has. Oh, and x Pac trying to make a comeback. Oh, and he's getting Kane down with those clotheslines. Oh, and Kane is just, he's not allowing it. Oh, my God, and he has x Pac. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Yes, choke slam. And x Pac is down. And a rope's. Saving X Pac this time around. Is he going to try to go for another choke slam? This is what it's looking like. Oh my God, an X Pac. Oh, and another drop kick from X Pac representing D Generation X. Oh, and a drop kick to the face of Kane. And X Pac. Oh, he has Kane in the corner. Oh my God. And a shot to the face, making Kane drop like a fly. Oh, and a shot by X Pac. X Pac is doing whatever he has to do to win his matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and he dies from the apron back inside the ring, planting his body on top of Kane. I'm not sure how much of an effect that had on Kane doing to his size and stature. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. X-Factor. X-Factor. That could be it. And that could be all she wrote. And Kane, he's going to have to kick out of this one. Oh, and Kane gets his shoulder off the mat. He's not going to go down like that. And x Pac can't believe it. He thought that, that X-Factor was going to take Kane out of the game. But Kane is strong and alive. Oh, and he knocks X-Pac off the apron. And this matchup is spilling outside the ring. And the referee starting to count. These men better make sure they don't get counted out. And X-Pac battling back. Oh, and what a kick to the... Oh, my God. And Kane is finally down. And X-Pac, what is he doing? There's no... This, this, this match... This match, there's no weapons allowed in this matchup, X-Pac. And the referee is watching you.
And Paul Bearer stepping back from X-Pac as X-Pac is, oh, my God. And he knocks Paul Bearer down. And the referee does not ring the bell. And both of these men, oh, my God, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Oh, my God. And, and Kane, they're going to get counted out. And both men are counted out. And this match ends in a count out, ladies and gentlemen. And the matchup we just saw ended in count out between X Pac and Kane for both men. And look at this. Bischoff on Steve Austin's four wheeler coming down to the ring. What the hell is this? Bischoff leading Sting and Bill Goldberg to take on Shane O'Mac. His daddy, Vinny Mac, and Big Boss Man, the head of security of the corporation. And this should be a hell of a matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. And here comes the man who asks, who's next? Bill Goldberg. And the sheriff's knocking on his locker room door, and here he comes. And this crowd behind Bill Goldberg and that dangerous spirit that he possesses. And he's been accompanied down to the rampway by the local authorities here in Massachusetts. And Eric Bischoff said he handpicked Bill Goldberg because he knows he's going to get the job done. Eric Bischoff, if he wins this matchup, he gets full control, creative control over WWF Monday Night Raw. Bischoff said his main goal, if he gets full control, is to put these WCW guys over and get them over the top because he feels as if Vince McMahon and the way he's running the company, he's overlooking these talented guys from WCW. So elimination style, six-man matchup. And here comes the mystery man. A man of not many words, but many actions. Sting. Making his way to the ring from every man's nightmare. Weighing in at 259 pounds. The man called Sting. And Sting said he's going to do whatever Bischoff asks him as long as it's for the good interest of WCW wrestling. He's going to do whatever he needs to do, even if that means pinning Shane O'Mac, Vince McMahon, and Big Boss Man tonight here at Unforgiven. And here they come, the corporation, the boss, his boy, and his head of security. And Shane O'Mac coming to the ring with his father and big boss man. And this is not going to be a pretty sight for Bischoff, Sting, and Goldberg. The corporation is in the building. And his opponents first at a combined weight of 842 pounds. Mr. And Vince McMahon, McMahon says Eric Bischoff has no chance in hell to get full creative control of his flagship show, WWF Monday Night Raw. And look at the big boss man. And Bischoff will be starting things off with Vinnie Mac. And this should be interesting. And he tags in Bill Goldberg to fight Vince McMahon. And Vince McMahon, he has Goldberg. Oh, an atomic leg drop by Vince McMahon to Bill Goldberg. What a mismatch this is. I don't know if Vinny's going to be able to hang in there. Oh, and Vince is holding his own. And the power of Goldberg is a little too much. Oh, and Vince McMahon 
He's not giving up. Oh, and what a shot to the gut of Bill Goldberg by Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Oh, and no shot to the temple. Oh, and to the back of the head. Another shot. Vince McMahon showing why he's the boss man and the chairman of this company with his just, he's just tough. Oh, my God. Oh, and Goldberg. Oh, and Vinny's in the corner. Now he's in, tr oh, in trouble. And Bill Goldberg, obviously, much more athletic and faster than Vince McMahon. And Vince McMahon, oh, and he scratches and claws the back. Oh, my God. And a Luthez press. Oh, and a shot. Oh, and what the hell is Bischoff doing at the top? Oh, my God. And the Hurricanrana from Eric Bischoff to <laughs> Vince McMahon. What the hell is he doing? He needs to get out of the match. If you want to... If you wanted to fight him, you should have stayed in, but you tag Goldberg in, and now Goldberg getting the upper hand of Vince McMahon, who needs to make a tag to a more athletic man on his side of the ring. Oh, and a shot. Oh, and he finally gets his shot in on Bischoff. And Vinny Mack up top. Oh, and Goldberg catching a double axe handle. And now here comes the head of security, the Cobb County prison holding big boss man. Oh, my God, and a jawbreaker. Oh, he gets caught. Oh, and Goldberg goes down on the back of his head pretty hard at the hands of big boss man. And boss man, uh, he's just as skilled as Goldberg. They both possess a, a hell of a amount of strength. So this shouldn't be a mismatch. And Sting finally getting tagged into the matchup. Oh, and he get, gets knocked down by the big boss man. Oh, and shots from Sting. Oh, and another shot. And he finally gets out the hole. Big boss man had him in. Oh, and an elbow right to the right part of the chest of big boss man, the head of security for the corporation. Oh, and the weight of big boss man weighing down. Sting couldn't carry all that weight. And now the boss man showing... The power, oh my God, and Sting right off the ropes. And now here comes young Simba, Shane O'Mac. Oh, and Shane O'Mac gets a knockdown on Sting. And the McMahons are in full control right now. Oh, and a clothesline, dropping Shane McMahon on his back by Sting. And another shot, oh, and another shot, oh, and another shot. DDT from Sting delivered especially for Shane O'Mac. Oh, and he's got to feel the pain right now. Oh, and Sting is doing everything he can to keep Shane O'Mac down, and it's working well for him. Now WCW in full control of this matchup. Oh, and Shane O'Mac reversing the suplex. Oh, and a clothesline knocking down Sting. Shane O'Mac is pretty athletic to not to be an actual full-time professional wrestler. And here comes Bischoff. Oh. And Bischoff get involved in this matchup. If he wants to fight, he needs to get tagged in like everybody else. And he tries to go for an Instaguri on Shane O'Mac. But Shane O'Mac is not having it. Oh, and Goldberg. And now Shane O'Mac is being triple teamed. And Shane O'Mac, oh, he reverses. And while Sting is up top taunting, here comes, oh, my God, in his face right into the turnbuckle. And Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac, uh-oh, what's going to happen? Oh, and a tombstone straight to Shane McMahon from Sting. And we have a hell of a night for you, ladies and gentlemen. Five more matches to go, and the match card is decked. And Bischoff just keeps, he just keeps getting in the way. If he wants to get in this match, he needs to get tagged in. He's being a coward. Oh, and a shot. At the hands of Bischoff to the chest of Shane O'Mac. And the referee is not, not grabbing Bischoff. He needs to get control of his match. Bischoff getting all these cheap shots in. Uh-oh, and here comes Bischoff. When Shane McMahon's wore, wore down, now Bischoff is in. Oh, my God. Oh, oh and Shane O'Mac busted open at the boot of Sting. Oh, and jiu-jitsu kicks coming from Eric Bischoff. He's trained. He's a 12-degree black belt. Oh, and Shane O'Mac gets his shoulder off the mat. And Shane needs to make a tag because now he's going to lose a lot of blood. He's leaking. And Bischoff, oh, and Bischoff trying to go for an Instaguri. Oh, and a 
the right hand from Shane drawing the hell out of Bischoff. And Bischoff coming out here on that four-wheeler. <laughs> I mean, that's Steve Austin's four-wheeler. I don't even think he has any clue that Bischoff has his four-wheeler. And I'm sure once he find out, there's going to be consequences for Bischoff. You know, Bischoff comes in here acting like he has to run everything. He doesn't know there will be hell to pay. And a kick out by Shane O'Mac. Oh, my God. And a heel kick. What is going on? Eric Bischoff getting up. What the hell is this? Oh, my God. And they're assisting Bischoff in a power bomb. What is this? God. And Shane O'Mac is out of there. And Bischoff standing over Shane. Oh, and he knocks Vince down. Oh, and he jaws boss, man. And Eric Bischoff is tell me he's not going to pin Shane McMahon. And Shane O'Mac is out of here. What in the hell is going on? Oh, and Goldberg. And now it's two to three. McMahon and Boss Man versus the whole squad of Team WCW. And Boss Man has to get back in this match, ladies and gentlemen. That was a hell of a power bomb that they used to take out Shane McMahon. Oh, and a spear from Bill Goldberg. What is... It cannot end like this all in... Boss man getting his shoulders off the mat. And, and Bischoff. Oh my God, and the boss man not in a good space. He's going for it. Oh, and boss man with the power, raw power. God, and a spine buster by the big boss man. And here comes Bischoff again. Bischoff needs to get out of this match, period. Oh, and Vince McMahon is now the legal man in this matchup. And Bischoff grabbing him by the leg, giving Goldberg. Oh, my God. And, and what is Vince McMahon? Oh, my God. No. Bad agree. Oh, and here comes Bischoff with a clothesline. Bischoff's going to do whatever he needs to do to get control. Oh, and a kick out by Vince McMahon. And Boss Man on the sideline recovering. And the rope saving Vince McMahon from that roll up by Bill Goldberg. Oh, and a big boot. Oh, and a mule kick straight to the face of Vinnie Mac. And the crowd not receptive of this WCW team getting the best of Mr. McMahon. And here comes Bischoff. He's just, he's sneaky. I mean, he keeps, oh my God. And Mr. McMahon, Mr. McMahon is just, oh, and a power bomb to Eric Bischoff at the hands of Vinnie Mac. Mr. McMahon not in a good space at all. Bischoff eliminated two. The boss man needs to get his shoulders off the mat. Oh, and boss man gets his shoulders off the mat. Yeah. 
And Sting. Has full control of the big boss man. Oh, and what a shot by Sting. <laughs> boss man, not. Oh my god, and Bischoff team wins. Here are your winners, Eric And look at this. Bischoff has control of Raw now. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. And is for the Intercontinental Championship. And here comes the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, the Rabbit Wolverine, the most technical wrestler on the roster, Chris Benoit. And Banwall prepared to take home Intercontinental title gold if he can get past Jason Jordan, the prodigy, the son of Kurt Angle. Here is the Intercontinental Champion, Jason Jordan, a hell of an athlete, one-third of Team Angle, and most importantly, the Intercontinental Champion of the WWF. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Chris Ben Moore. Introducing the champion from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion. Jason Jordan. And Jason Jordan starting this match off with a drop kick on Chris Benoit. Oh, and Chris Benoit reversing. And here comes the rabbit Wolverine. Oh, and a shot with a right hand by Jason Jordan, but Benoit ducking from the clothesline that was playing oh, in his head right off the mat, thanks to Benoit. Oh, and what a shot. Benoit feeling the effect of that clothesline. Oh, and the knee right to the face following up. And Benoit reversing anything that Jason Jordan's coming with, and this is gonna be a technical matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Jordan trained by his father, Kurt Angle. Oh, and Chris Benoit with over 20 years experience in the wrestling world as a technical wrestler. And Benoit has fought Kurt Angle plenty of times. And now Jason Jordan following in the footsteps of his father to fight Chris Benoit for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, and Benoit reversing that. He's fighting Kurt Angle's offspring. Jason Jordan sliding out the ring like a coward. Oh, and what a face drop by Benoit to Jason Jordan. Intercontinental Championship on the line. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. And what a shot with that forearm. And he shouldn't have did that. Oh, and straight from the top rope he goes 
at the hands of Chris Benoit and his quickness. Oh, and a drop kick, putting him flat down on the canvas. And now he's going for the cover, ladies and gentlemen. Can he get it? One. Oh, he couldn't get a one count. Uh, Jason Jordan is suffering some pain. Chris Benoit came in the mode to win gold. And he has him all oh, on a shot to the rib. Shot to the rib. Shot to the rib. And he breaks away of the hands of Chris Benoit. And he throws him off the ring, disposing of him like trash. Oh, he tried to drop that elbow, and it did not happen. Chris Benoit moved out the way just in time. Oh, and a suplex outside the ring. False count anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Anything can happen in this matchup. Oh, and Jason Jordan drop. Oh, and a drop kick after he delivered an elbow right to the chin. Oh, and a scoop slam by Jason Jordan outside the ring to Chris Benoit. Oh, and a drop kick against the barricade. Oh, and Benoit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got it, Jason Jordan. German suplex season. And Jason Jordan is not in a good space because he's in the lock of German suplexes from Chris Benoit. And Benoit, maybe he's going to try to dive out the ring. I guess he's rethinking it. Ben was a person that likes to inflict pain. So, I, I, you know, maybe he had to change of heart about going for that diving outside maneuver. Oh, and a slam on the steps at the hands of Jason Jordan. Oh, and a forearm drop, dropping Chris Manwa to his face. Oh, and the steps. The steps impacting with Jason Jordan's carcass. And Benoit is in full control. Oh, and an elbow across the throat. Benoit in full control, and he's going up top. Is he going for what I think he's going for? Oh, and he tries a leg drop. I like Benoit to go for a leg drop. And Benoit, capable. Oh, and a drop kick at the hands of Jason Jordan. Oh, and Benoit coming back. Benoit coming back. Benoit coming back. Oh, my God. And Benoit. And Benoit is going up top. It's not looking good for Kurt Angle's son. It's not looking good for Kurt Angle's son. Diving. Oh, he misses a diving headbutt. He misses the diving headbutt. Atomic drop from Chris Benoit. He missed that diving head, but that would have been the defining moment in this matchup. And he gets a small package on Jason Jordan. Oh, and Jason Jordan loses his Intercontinental title. And Benoit is your new Intercontinental Champion. We have a new champion crowned here at Unforgiven. And his name is Chris Benoit. And here they come. This rivalry has been brewing for the last two months. Matt and Jeff Hardy losing their World Tag Team Championships a day after SummerSlam to Edge and Christian in a steel cage match. And they're getting ready to try to regain their titles here tonight at Unforgiven. The boys from Cameron, North Carolina won the titles in a TLC match at SummerSlam against the Dudley Boys and Edge and Christian just to lose them the night after in a steel cage match against Edge and Christian thanks to an unprettier being delivered upon Jeff Hardy by Christian and Christian climbing out the cage. And this is going to be a hell of a matchup. Tag team table elimination style. Once you're put through a table, you must go back to the locker room. Tag titles on the line. And here come the world tag team champions, Edge and Christian.
Edge and Christian looking great with the gold around their waist, but the Hardy Boys have an issue with it. And when the Hardy Boys have the titles, Edge and Christian have an issue with it. Tables match, ladies and gentlemen. Elimination style. Once you are put through a table, oh, you must go backstage. Jeff Hardy starting on Christian, who is the reason they lost the titles. And Matt Hardy working with Edge. Edge with an arm lock on Matt Hardy. Oh, and Jeff Hardy missing a clothesline intended for Christian. Oh, and he reverses the quickness of Jeff Hardy. And now he's trying to reverse it. Oh, and a face drop onto the turnbuckle, Christian. Straight into the turnbuckle at the hands of Jeff Hardy. Matt Hardy, Irish whipping Edge outside the ring. Oh, and Christian being speared. And what is Matt Hardy trying to do to Edge? Oh, and Edge being dropped. And here comes Jeff Hardy. Oh, and a moonsault to follow up. What a hell of a combination of teamwork by the Hardy boys. And now Jeff Hardy has Edge. Oh, and Edge almost going through that table after a clothesline. And the Hardy boys, oh, and a kick to the temple of Christian at the hands of Matt Hardy. And Jeff Hardy pulling Edge back into the ring. And the Hardy boys, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Oh, my God, side effect, double side effect to Edge. Oh, and Christian kicking Jeff Hardy like he's trash. Edge and Christian trying not to lose those titles. And Jeff Hardy looking at Edge. Oh, oh my God, and a senton outside the ring over the ropes at the hands of Jeff Hardy to Edge. Oh, and Matt Hardy tried to go for a dive outside the ring, but did not connect. Oh, and Edge straight into the ring post. Christian with that table getting back into the ring. Matt Hardy suplex. And here comes Jeff Hardy. Oh, and a combination. Matt Hardy, what's he going to follow up with? Oh, and an elbow drop. Oh, and Edge knocking. Jeff Hardy down. The World Tag Team Champions are being decimated at this point in this match, and they need to figure it out. Irish Rip, oh. Oh, and Jeff Hardy mistakenly knocking down his brother. Oh, he kicks Edge. And Christian tries to go for a drop, drop kick on Matt. Side effect. And Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy. Oh, and another moonsault to Christian. Oh, and Edge dropped flat on his head by Matt Hardy. And Jeff Hardy with that table. Who's going to be the first to go through one? And Christian taking that table out of Jeff Hardy's hand. Matt Hardy setting that table in the corner. And the crowd going crazy for Matt Hardy yelling delete. Oh. And Edge. Oh, he tried to get Matt Hardy, but he didn't. And Jeff Hardy, oh. And Christian is in trouble. Uh oh, Christian's on that table. Oh, and Matt Hardy. Oh, and Jeff Hardy. Oh, and Christian being drop kicked into the table, but it did not break. So Christian is still in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Edge and Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy throwing Edge into that corner. Uh-oh, he got him up top. Oh, and Edge reverses. And Matt Hardy being thrown on that table. Oh, and Jeff Hardy knocking Edge and Christian down, making sure his brother does not get put through that table. Oh, and a drop kick to Christian at the hands of Jeff Hardy. And now Christian's on that table. Oh, and he gets drop kick at the hands of Jeff. Oh, and a face buster to Edge. Jeff Hardy is moving fast. Jeff Hardy, springboard. Oh, and he tried to spring, springboard Santon back on Edge, but Edge moved out the way just in time. Oh, and Matt Hardy rushing leg sweep to Edge. Oh, and Jeff Hardy being tripped up by Christian. Oh, and Christian, a shot to Jeff. Oh, and a shot to Jeff Hardy. At the hands of Christian. Oh, 
by Matt Hardy with a shot to edge. Oh, and a spear by Christian to Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy might be out of this contest after that one. Bulldog by Matt Hardy getting his redemption for his brother. And Jeff Hardy, oh, and another face buster to edge. It's not looking, oh, edge is not looking good. Twist the fate. Swanton bomb at the hands of Jeff and Matt Hardy. Now they need to get Edge through a table if they want to get those titles back. And Edge crawling to the ropes to help him get up. Uh-oh. It's not looking good for Edge. Oh, in his face. Straight to the mat. I thought Jeff Hardy was going to put him through that table. And Matt Hardy. Oh, and Christian into the pole. The Hardy boys came to win. Oh, and Jeff Hardy flipping out of the ring onto Edge. And what is Matt Hardy thinking of? Oh, and a moonsault, but it did not connect. Christian putting his knees in the way. Jeff Hardy setting up a table in the ring. No telling who's going to go through that those two tables. Jeff Hardy with Christian, Matt Hardy with Edge. Matt Hardy working on Edge outside the ring. Oh, and it is a Gurry at the hands of Christian to Jeff Hardy. Oh, and Christian throwing Jeff Hardy into that table. Oh, and Christian being put back in the ring. Jeff Hardy. And Matt Hardy, what is he going to do? Is he going to get Christian through the table? And Matt Hardy walking him over to that table. Oh, and a power bomb. He did not put him through the table. And Jeff Hardy has Edge. Edge. Oh, no. Oh, and Edge is out of here. And Christian up top. It's not looking good for him, ladies and gentlemen. It's not looking good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A twist of fate. Oh, my God. To the table. And the Hardy Boys are the world tag team champions again. What a twist of fate at the hands of Matt Hardy. Off the top ropes, through the table. Christian and the Hardy Boys regain their tag team championship. Gold around the guys from Cameron, North Carolina again. A twist of fate from Matt Hardy off the top ropes ended it for Christian. And Matt Hardy getting revenge for his brother. After that steel cage match they had on Raw. And the women's title is on the line in this matchup. And making her debut, Molly Holly. From Minnesota, Holly Holly. And Molly Holly, the cousin of Crash, making her debut here tonight at Unforgiven. And in her first ever match in the WWF, she's getting a women's title shot against Trish Stratus and Lita. And this should be a hell of a match between these three young ladies. Here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, Lita. And, and Lita making her way to the ring. This is going to be a hell of a match, and the crowd going crazy for Lita. And you can get your official Hardy Boys and Lita wear from WWF Shop Zone. That shirt that Lita's wearing is also on the website, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes the women's champion, Trish Stratus. 
from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Trish. Trish Stratus with the women's title. She's been holding it for quite some time. This is her first defense since she's won it. And she's defended it against two hell of a competitors and Molly Holly and Lita. Women's championship, ladies and gentlemen. Official hoisting the gold up in the air for these three young ladies to see. Now oh, in a clothesline to Trish Stratus by Molly Holly. And Lita tries to come in. Oh my God. And look at the moves of Molly Holly, the two pigtail wearing cousin of Crash Holly. Oh, and what a drop kick. Lita taking shots with the forearm. Oh, and Molly Holly is not having it. Oh, and she tries to go for a spring cross body and does not get it. Oh, and a Russian leg sweep at the hands of Lita. And what a match this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. I can tell you right now on a loop fast press by Trish Stratus. The toughness of these wrestlers is going to show in this matchup. These ladies are tough as nails. They're tougher than some of the men in the back. Oh, and what a drop kick by Lita to Molly Holly. Oh, and Trish being thrown. Oh, my gosh. And a vicious spear at the hands of Lita. Oh, and Lita tries to go for the drop kick on Molly Holly, but it does not happen. And Trish Stratus outside the ring being isolated from the situation. Oh, and she tries to go for the axe handle. Oh, and Lita drop kicks both of them. What a move. And this is fall count anywhere. Anything goes in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be surprised if you see these women using weapons and foreign objects. And Lita, oh, and a moonsaw landing right on Trish Stratus. Oh, but she gets tossed, hip tossed by Molly Holly. And Molly Holly going under that ring. Oh, and the champion takes a chair shot. And, and, and Trish Stratus, oh, and Lita takes one too. Lita doesn't go down though. Oh, and, and Molly Holly is just, oh, and there she connects finally to Lita. Are we going to crown a new women's champion? Who knows? But I know these three young women are tough. Oh, and she tries to go for a drop kick. Oh, and Trish Stratus finally gets in this matchup with a clothesline of Molly Holly. And she has Molly Holly by the hair. Trish Stratus. Oh, my God, and what a shot. And Lita grabbing that ladder. Just like the Hardy Boys would in any type of match. Oh, and a shot by Trish Stratus to Lita, knocking Lita down. Oh, and Molly Holly breaks up the count with that ladder. Oh, and knocking Trish Stratus down. Oh, and Lita, oh my God, and she knocks Molly Holly down, and Trish Stratus getting back in the ring. Those kicks by Lita connecting. Oh, and she put, oh boy. Oh boy, Lita needs to get off that ladder. Lita needs to get off that ladder. Oh my God. Molly Holly showing and proving maybe she does deserve to be in this women titles matchup. Oh, and a clothesline by Lita. And Trish Stratus with a forearm to Trish, to, excuse me, to Lita. Irish whip. Lita into the corner. And Lita. Oh, and her, she has to have a concussion as many times as Molly Holly has thrown her head into that canvas. Oh, and Molly Holly. Trish Stratus with Molly Holly in the corner. Oh, and a back drop by Molly Holly. Oh, and Lita with that ladder knocking down Molly Holly. 
Roll up by Lita. Is she going to get a three count? One. Oh, no. Trish Stratus gets kicked out before three. Russian leg sweep to Molly Holly. And Lita putting in work. Molly Holly getting out of harm's way. Doing the smart thing. And Lita going up top of that ladder. What the hell is she thinking about? What in the hell is she? Oh, my God. She drop kicked Trish Stratus off the apron. Oh, and she knocks Molly Holly down. Lita in full control. And Molly Holly going up top with Lita. Oh, and a face smash. Knocking Lita off that ladder. And Trish Stratus. Oh, and she pushes Molly Holly off the ladder. And Lita may be out of there after being thrown off that ladder by Molly Holly, the cousin of Crash. And she's setting up for that chick kick. Is she going to get it? Molly is resting on the ropes. Wait a minute. There's Lee. 